uh, I would like to invite Marcus and Sam from the Identifiers and Discovery Group to talk a little bit about the group and the work that is being carried out. Marcus, are you ready to present? Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I'd uh, be happy to uh, tell you a little bit about the Identifier and Discovery Working Group. I'm Marcus Sabatello, together with uh, Sam Smith, co-chair of this group. The uh, Identifier and Discovery Working Group was was one of the original groups in DIFF that was already there when, when DIFF started, because identifiers are, are everywhere, right? They're the, the, ba the basis for everything else. We have identifiers in, in verifiable credentials. We have them in did auth. We have them in did com. We have them in, in many other things. With Without identifiers, we cannot refer to things. Uh, we cannot uh, create connections, uh, relationships. We cannot have uh, data sharing or or messaging if we don't have identifiers at the, the heart of an architecture. And of course, we want the identifiers to be decentralized. And that's why this, this working group was, was active from the beginning. This is a, a screenshot of the, the working group page on the DIFF website. We also have a meeting page. Uh, we recently switched to uh, weekly meetings from previously bi-weekly meetings because there's so many interesting topics all the time. I'll give you overview first of the, the charter, what the, what the working group charter says, and then we'll look at the uh, concrete work, work items that we have in the group. So the charter says we can work on specification tests related to uh, creation, derivation, resolution management, use of all forms of decentralized identifiers, including but not limited to did. So in theory, we can work on, on other things, other decentralized identifiers that uh, work related between decentralized identifiers domain names, so relationship between the identifier layer of a stack and other building blocks, such as the secure uh, data store or, or other, other things. Working on discovery protocol, uh, recently a very interesting establishment and maintenance of control authority. That's what CARE is about. Well, well, and we're, we're having quite a, quite a lot of discussion on security and trust in identifier infrastructure. How can we trust uh, identifiers and resolution of identifiers and, and so on. And we, we also have in, in the charter that we can work on concrete bid methods. Here's a list of most important current uh, topics and, and work items. So recently working group received uh, CARE as a, as a contribution key event receipt infrastructure from by, by Sam Smith, which uh, had a lot of attention at IRW and is, is generally a very exciting uh, building block or in initiative in, in this space. Uh, there, are, there are multiple implementations now being developed in, in the DIFF GitHub organization. Also, did peer uh, is, is also very, very central or <laughs> maybe not central, very <laughs> decentral, right? <laughs> building block that's uh, really important in, in did auth and did com and, and agents and so on. Uh, there, there is a commitment to move that into diff and also into this working group. It hasn't actually happened yet, but it, it looks like it's it's going to. Then we have the uh, the universal resolver. That's also, I think, a pretty well-known project in the, in the community. That was one of the earliest projects, uh, earliest concrete implementation projects in in DIFF, uh, we already heard a lot about interoperability on uh, in this uh, in this virtual face-to-face -face meeting. And when when DIFF was was founded, uh, I think the ecosystem that we saw was one where each company had their own wallet and their own SDKs and their own DID method, right? And everybody has thought my DID method is going to be the best and is going to win, and everybody is going to use uh, my DID method because because my DID method has the best uh, governance framework, or my DID method is the most decentralized or my did method has the best built in semantic web or smart contract or whatever other features but uh, pretty soon it became obvious that there will be many 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 did methods even even too many perhaps we thought as an as basic building block on the did layer we needed a universal resolution all that uh, can resolve multiple did methods using a common interface. We've recently deployed an, an instance of this uh, code base on a new domain name, uh, resolver.identity foundation. So that's now something like an official uh, diff hosted instance, uh, actually hosted on infrastructure provided by, uh, by IBM. So we're very grateful for that. Other work items, the well-known did configuration, that's, that's an actually comp more or less well, completed spec, right? So that's something that you could say that DIFF has released now. Specification for uh, linking domain names to DITs in a, in a way that can be bidirectionally. The next one, secret recovery has a relatively 
new topic that started a few weeks ago with, with the blog post and a contribution by uh, by Microsoft. And since then, uh, we've also seen other contributions such as the uh, Horcrux protocol that's for uh, biometric uh, recovery by Viridium. And finally, we've been uh, doing some work on, on DIT parameters in alignment with the DIT core specification at W3C. And as I said uh, a, few, a few minutes ago, also the, the topic of how can you trust identifiers, how can you trust resolution that uh, comes up from time to time and is a, it's a frequent uh, topic that we that we also discuss on the calls and with that i'll stop here and invite everyone to our Slack channel and the uh, weekly meetings